Hello everyone and it's Automa Chef. So we're going to be taking a look at um, where we last left off. Actually we did technically complete it with two with two out of three, but I did um, some changes to set up, streamline things a bit. Actually the biggest bottleneck here in our efficiency was that Well, how do I say this? Once you know which orders are coming up, you can kind of streamline everything. So I played it around several times and it appears that you only get about three or four actual orders of bacon fries. Looks like um, they're not really in for the fries. It's most all the orders are pretty much cheesy dogs and cheeseburgers. So what I did was I pretty much set up the bacon fries to have their more or less their own line. It's the the smart arm is only picking up for this one instead of instead of cheesy dogs. So we are less likely we we are going to still lose an order, but. The setup actually runs a lot better, so, and we actually co um, constrict the space a bit here. So, just to prove it a bit, actually, there's also one other thing I noticed. I noticed in the previous one, but um, it's actually much more forgiving. That's why it's lined it this way. It's much more forgiving. Now, basically, what happens is because of the way the arm is oriented. Unless I slow this down really slow, I set this at three, but um, it re it slows everything too much. If I set it down to a 2 or a 1, unless I slow it down really really badly, there's a 50% chance the arm will miss it. So we'll miss this um, piece of grated cheese here. Now, it's okay if... Um, now, it's okay if this one's for the... If, if it's picking up for, for a secondary order because the primary orders will probably get more going. It can just pick one up later. But if it was the other way around, it would... That this one bit will be stranded here for the longest time, so so that's why um it looks like the one thing to do is make a setup, pay attention to your order list here. That's another important tip. So what I did also is um I managed to get a setup where I used more or less exactly the right number of ingredients, but um but energy became an issue. Good news is again because I know that potato wedges are not the main primary. I can slow this down to power saving. Same with this grill over here. So we're gonna probably lose this one. We're missing. Oh no, it's not. It's in already. Yeah, we're still gonna probably lose that one though. But that's okay. We can afford to. And yes, it looks like um 20% is only big. If I. It's only 20% if it's like um, several big orders, but I think um, they make adjustments if it's a rush hour order. So here we go. All three, all three badges, so we're going to continue this, this level up here. Probably just do two levels at a time considering at this point. So this one's also unlocked here. We'll probably just do griller than power usage. Oh, this is a tutorial. Let's do the tutorial first here. I won't, this probably usually unlocks other items as well, so let's take a look at this. So, fulfill three orders with very low power requirements. So we we'll take a look at them. It's actually a very, this is actually a very nice setup to copy. Okay, so he's gonna start. He's gonna start this one. Then. So I want okay, so basically he's gonna teach us something that I already know now. Power saving. Then Yeah, that's now our assemblers will use it. But they will take 50% longer. We don't need two grills here, right? We could just have one. <laughs> then this is um basically showing us how to save on machines. So it'll teach us by first setting a dispenser for for raw patties, then a single dumb arm, no, a single grill, and two smart arms. Now usually you'd want to use an or an order bot to. And then it, this is also where it teaches you how to bend the arms. I wish th um, they taught you this a lot earlier. This this bit did not have to be near the end. 
though you but it does allow you some but it does allow you some figuring out hey there made it okay the beach run premises so there you go that's a very let's get got that primer out of the way yeah this tutorial really should be a lot earlier could really have used it technically i could have used it even yeah burger frenzy you definitely could have used it here but then again i guess it encourages you to go straight down here when you figure this out oh i can try this again maybe that would work that's another way to do it no, but now that we got that out of the way this one's probably going to teach us how to take advantage of the grill though we still have fries Okay. So again, BLT fries and plain burgers. So we're going to need one packing machine and two assemblers. The sad thing. It's a bit sad. I, I at first I thought the soup. If you notice the packing machine, you can. Is it? This, these are check boxes. You can actually pack multiple items. Assemblers can only handle one. And these are quite big to boot. Anyway, let's do the let's do the fries first. I could try to run a food I could try to run a single food processor to go through everything. After Because technically we do need to run actually it's just a yeah, it's just a tomato. We can we can actually have both of them run through a single food processor. Then we can just use multiple smart arms for that. So I'm guessing that the I'm guessing the issue now is going to be the dumb. Okay, let's set this dumb arm here because I'm gonna set the four cylinders back to back here. Conveyor. We're going to need a smart arm to pick up tomatoes here. And we're gonna need two dispensers. One for Yeah, I think thank goodness there's no cheese. I'd be, I'd be scratching my head if I had to do cheese again. So potato and tomato. This picks up We're gonna have to use another smart arm here. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to start frying tomatoes in the fryer. One, it's actually dangerous in in real life to throw wet ingredients in deep fat fryer. But we might. We'll see. So that's fries. That's that's a, that's, a, that's a simple, easy setup. We will probably need to use an order reader also. Also, the order readers consume quite a bit of energy, so we're going to have to make it worth its cost. the grill okay let, let's start with the simple one let's start with the burger because that ends up in that get meal there okay we'll need we'll need a dumb arm on this side that you can just have the dispenser feed straight to the dumb arm. We're going to have our smart arm here feed burger patties. So that that fixes our grill position. Well technically 
there's another one. Uh, nope, we can't do that because we are grilling multiple ingredients. In fact, maybe putting it this close is my probably... Okay, so we might need a conveyor after all. Because we're gonna have everything feed off that one grill. Okay, there's your BLT. Tomato. A single dumb arm here. Have a, have a smart arm here. This one could be anything. I probably would just set this to. I set this to the toasted bread because that's because that's the one that that's the one that comes in pairs. So let's put our grill here. The bacon will go on this side. Burger patties. Okay, so we're gonna need three dispensers here. So bread bread goes here first because that needs to be the fastest. Technically I can I can make the others slower, but um, if I don't need to, I won't do it just quite yet. This is going to be our cook, cook pad. Oh, in fact, I can just feed this one like this. Okay. There you go. That saves us a little more space. And saves us some extra conveyor belts. So, toasted bread goes straight here. Bacon will go up here. going to need the dispenser for the lettuce. Yeah, we should be well under budget here. That's fine. Uh, actually, with that setup, I'm really curious um, what's going to kill us at this point. So let's do the setup for the plain burger. need to know how to I also wish there's a tutorial for the splitter I might just have to do a do a blind run by myself thankfully I don't have to worry about it for this setup mm, probably, probably no way to save power wait I can save power in the machinery though setup I'll leave it as is for now. Let's see. Let's see this one. Let me just give this one a quick run. Now we can start properly. So this is minor de 
Sometimes I wish there's a way to overlay all the all the directions where things are going. Especially the where the arms are going left and right. Yeah, I would like to have that overlay as well. Maybe there's key I should check in this settings I'm missing. Oh yeah, speaking of missing out, if you want to try this game, you can and you have a Twitch Prime subscription, you can actually get it now. Now on Twitch Prime. It's a bit of um, slightly annoying for me because I, but I, but then again, it's a, it's a reasonably good, good game. I don't mind paying for this one. Even the contract mode is quite fun. Um, the free form mode is probably the one I'm going to be questioning, but it's a good way to experiment. I probably will test out Splitter there. So there you go, not bad. We actually had a headache-free scenario, de scenario there. And we actually do have. We actually do have these two other scenarios. We'll probably do Calorie Insanity first. So, this one introduces us to box meals. And let's see, quarters, power usage. Wait, there's more? Okay, this one teaches you about uh, having a single production line. Okay, so this one teaches us the purpose of the storage unit. Basically what it does is, um, we can start making... So ladies and gentlemen, when you go to a fast food restaurant and you get cold fries, this is probably going to be why. But first, let's check out the dopamine meal. Thankfully, it's just a plain burger and fries. Fried chicken is the one that's going to be painful for us. That needs to be a separate line. So let's. And the thing is, yeah, dopamine meal, fried chicken. Actually, the good news is we could run all of these through a single packing unit. We can run all these through a single packaging machine. This is disaster waiting to happen though. And most likely I probably will run the dopamine meal separate from the fried chicken and fries machine. Actually I think that was what I did the last time too. So this will be the dopamine meal. This one will have to be the fried chicken and fries meal. So we will actually need multiple conveyor belts, multiple smart arms. So fried chicken just goes straight out, so that that one's perfectly fine. Fried chicken. Then we need. Then we need to have a storage unit here. So basically, then we'll need two more smart arms here. I think we have. Yeah, they're giving us more than enough budget here. So we'll have set the filter for regular fry. Regular fries. Then. This one will also be regular fries, but um, this is this one will feed the dopamine meal. So I need to so I need to remember that stuff. I can't wait till we get to the programming tutorials. Those will be really fun. So that means we need a small, small one for fries. machine I could actually set it up for both fries and fried chicken so we will need two smart arms I'll see if I can get away with one button.
Yeah, because I remember needing an arm to feed this one. Let's just do, let's do an experiment here. I want to see if um, the packaging machine can just feed it directly or if I still need a, still need a dumb, dumb arm to feed that one. I forgot about that, actually. So... I'm gonna do a double set, a two arm set up here, only because I don't want to cont. Well, there is no contamination because everything goes through the fryer. It just still scares the heck out of me. Anyway, this one's just um. This this one's just a this one's just a test. I want to see if I still need this one or not. So, okay, let's do a fry test. It does run straight. Okay, so I, I I can't I can't skip it. So I could have actually I might have been able to well not in that last one that was all, those were all assemblers. I oh, know there were bacon fries there. Yeah, I could have saved one bit. So this one is meant to pick up fried chicken pieces. So that's our setup. So this one feeds potatoes. Hmm. I really could just feed everything into this one set into this one machine. Nope, not true. No, nope. actually not true. We still need an assembler. Yeah, well, because yeah, we still need to run all these through an assembler. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna separate the lines. It's a lot cleaner that way. Set up for plain burger, but that one's re that one should be really easy. So, this one does need arms. The good news is we can get away with just a single arm. We can't feed the machine. Can't feed the machines here because this one's eating up all the space. Now we have sadly we have to put our machines on this side. We could put we could put our ordering stations up here. Though. Sadly, I can't put it up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to be down here. But hey, we can actually get away with one, yeah, one line, three dispensers all around. Here is I can actually space these out a bit so I want the chicken to come out first so I'll space this at seven and space this at nine. So to, because there's no real rush anyway everything has to go through here. Yeah fries go here all the time. Okay so that's good. Let's fix the order reader for the chicken at least. Yeah. 
let's get that out of the way. I can even skip the storage bin here but what did well we'll see if we have a uh, if we have leeway here basically what I, what I can do is I can what I can do is I can have this one just keep dispensing normally Order is pending. Yeah, I could leave it at that and just have the setup for here instead. How many units can this store? Um, it stores up to five finished dishes, so I'm actually concerned this is not a good idea. Okay, anyway, let's um let's get the burger setup done. This Um, the assembler still needs an arm. Problem here. I need to have a dis. I I need to wait. I probably yeah. I need to have a dispenser here. Otherwise, oh wait, no, it's okay. It creates cook burgers. They just get stored here. That's okay. So I don't have to worry about that one. Okay, that was a panic moment and a half there. Do I want this machine to just keep making? Mm, no. Dopam on, on dopamine meal. This dispenses one. This dispenses one. So what that means is we can have a load of fries I'm going, going, going. 
So I'm going to save this line up here first. I'm going to see if we see how loaded these get. It's actually possible if this doesn't get quite loaded, I might, you know, let's, let's give it a try. Oh, here's the cause we're concerned. There's a cause for concern. It looks, it appears that we don't need that many fries. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna slow down the priority here. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna slow down the priority here by decreasing this one. That, and also there's a lot of fried chicken orders here, so that's the one that's gonna take. So we can't have too many fries going at first. Ten seconds per fry should be enough. I have no idea how this affects this. Yeah, fried chicken's kind of gonna take a while. But the good news is, um, any any fry orders um, go really quickly. So the fried chicken takes a while. Okay. You didn't ask for fresh. You do want freshly cooked chicken. That's how it, it's done. Dopamine meals are also getting quite done. Too, so we actually do have a bit of a backlog now. watching this but this wait time is legitimately concerning okay now we're gonna start some in fact it look yeah in fact we're gonna start having us uh, we're gonna have to start having savings already I think that the side order for fries is a liar. Right? Did any order? Oh, I think so. Yeah, there's a side order. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. I guess it's just this one. Yeah, the chicken's relatively coming out of time, all things considered. This has to this has to be a lot faster. That's high speed. What's the difference here? Okay. 1.2 seconds. This might be worth it. We can't fix fit we can't improve the um, packaging machine. Assembler doesn't need to be any faster, it's literally just a fries. I guess, the, I guess the dispensing ratio is okay. Let's, let's give it a try now. 
If not, I might just move things to order again. Barely made it. 144, 50 orders, power usage, very good. Yeah, so it was basically increasing the speed of our fryer. So that was very, that was, that was cutting it really close there. And yeah, do I, do I think I have time to do one more, one more power hungry? I'll take a look at this one, see what the. In, See what the ingredients. Okay, we might have a problem here. This is a BLT, but this is a. So again, wants us to save on power and beach burger, which is okay. So we also have to grill mushrooms to it. Jeez. On the assumption that um, we're serving quarter pounder patties because that's kind of the in thing, this is this is close to a pound. The burger here is literally gonna weigh a pound at this point. Uh, we definitely need two assemblers. That's the given. We also probably need to have um two. We also probably need to have two grills at this point as well. Oh, they're giving us the conveyor grill. This one's a. Uh, this one's brand new tech. Basically, what happens is instead of having to put stuff on the grill, instead of it saves us on one arm. The only caveat is these are these grills are slow, and we're gonna need a lot of smart arms to pick up stuff that we need. This one takes four items true. This one takes three items true. Oh, there's also the ca catch that if it things slow down, stuff in the inside will actually burn. So. <coughs> okay, let's get that sneeze out of the way. Definitely need just a dumb arm to feed. I think yeah, this I know this layout works. We have our beach burger go this way, then we'll this is a problem. We need to make those for bones. And I know I'm going to be using smart arms to pick up our bread to dump on the line here. Okay, so we need to move everything up. Good news is I can just have the tomato. I can have the tomato feeder go through here, and it defaults up here. Beach Burger is the one that picks up. Yeah, I don't want. I could have everything work on Smart Arm. Okay, uh, at least we got that out of the way. Let's figure this out. So. Just for the tomatoes, um, the grilled mu mushrooms will need their own. 
the grilled mushrooms will need their own food processor. This also gonna this also gonna be interesting in terms of the number of them. Um, Order readers. I'm basically gonna need an order reader just for tomatoes, then an order reader for alternately. I could use the storage unit tech where basically it just keeps some um, spitting tomatoes out. I need to save on ingredients too. So, anyway, let's get the conveyor. Let's get the conveyor belt here. There's also an ingredient. There's also the ingredients gate tech. Basically what it does is um it's actually interesting, so I don't want to I could I could use this in like um in blocking stuff up. Like for example, I could put this here. If it goes up here, it goes there. Otherwise it otherwise an arm it allows arms to take take their time to pick things up. about that later, I think I can still use arm tape here. I also have to be careful not to clog up the grill. So any ingredients I dump onto this lane have to go straight here, so that means this more far yeah, goes left, it has to be this far. a good time to learn how to use this. So it sends stuff here. Oh, it's split. It's a splitting ratio, so you can, this only works with the same ingredient. If I were to do this with my with the setup I normally do of feeding everything through the dispenser, this gonna it's gonna be a disaster. This is literally begging me to. slow things down here and I can put um, multiple smart arms here. But I, but I think we we can afford to wait on this. So we'll feed, feed our BLT here. And this becomes our heart attack. I mean beach burger. Actually, there's an actual heart attack burger of sorts here. So this will pick up tomato slices only on command. With Google. A lot of dispensers. Okay. Oh, we also need a dispenser for lettuce. Okay, this one. Let, okay, the lettuce leaf. Thankfully, I don't need to do anything to it, so that goes here. I still have to chop mushrooms. Space. Hold on. Uh, 
Can't they just grill them? Can they get? Can they just grill them first without then chop them? I think I can do that, but this that's gonna be complicated just to get things through. I'd rather just chop them first, which means. Concerned if this is fast enough, and I cannot change any settings in the grill. So let's see. Oh wait! Thank goodness, there's no lettuce. I I thought there was lettuce. That's a sh that's a travesty. Oh well, uh, so they it still gets us tomato. So we need two arms here, and we need a conveyor dispenser just for lettuce. We need more conveyor belts here. So everything has to slow down here to give time for our machines to pick stuff up. I could use the ingredients gate, but... It's gonna be tough set... I'm gonna have to do some pra actual practice on that, so that's gonna have to wait a bit. There's also a chance that this setup. Oh, there's also the long arms now. What these do is that um, you can take ingredients um, from fur from further back. Like I could, well, I could set it up here, but that only benefits the tomato. I can set it up here because this, this ben. I can set it up here because it benefits everything. You don't get smart functionality here, but you can pick up from far away. Oh wait, no, there is smart functionality. You, you, there, there is. You can actually set up smart, smart functionality if you have to. But for this one, no, we're gonna set it up to pick everything. I. I wonder if I could set up double arms. So basically, I just have a dumb arm here and this arm here. So basically, ingredients don't stockpile here. There's a ton of them that are gonna stockpile. Okay, let's do an let's do an experiment. See if this actually works. But I do need to set my order readers. Oh wait, I also have to set the. Okay, let's set the order readers for everything. So, beach burger. So one time I actually didn't have to click. And this one's only on when it's needed. Because this one needs an order reader for both. Concerned about the speed, I'm gonna actually slow this down even further, which scares me because it's gonna create a huge backlog here. Alternately, what I can do is I can just increase the length of the conveyor belt. So 
so that should give us a little extra time. Okay, so this one is for the, this one's for gold. Yeah, I need another order reader for ELT. This one's kind of 50-50. Okay, I think they got that one. So our beat burgers are going to be well, well delayed because of the tomato. Until someone orders a BLT. There you go. Watch your power usage. You're dangerously close. Okay, hold on. This needs to be a tool. It's okay to slow this down. Energy consumptions were very, very close. So, so maybe we can cut our energy consumption. Okay, I'm gonna try cutting the conveyor belts. They, they, they still consume some power, so I might have to actually make that cut. Let's see. Yeah, this is the painful part. If I could stretch this out so I eat. Eats, eats less space, but no, I think this is it. I could also try a setup where mushroom and tomato gets fed differently, but also I think there's the issue where also I noticed that um, because the beach burger is the one that's getting more orders. Switch the, I'm gonna switch the some um, I'm gonna switch the smart arm around. Okay, so I'm gonna have this feed upward instead. So that means we don't need this one anymore. This has to be slow, but now it's not in beach burgers anymore, it's gonna be in BLTs. So, yeah. so basically, um, if, the, if the orders are not randomized, you can kind of game the game this week. So it's kind of a shame, but um, I, I'll take what I can get. If I, can, if I have to game it this way, I will. Everything go through one grill kills the speed. And 
it looks like the long arm does nothing here. Okay, so... There. That, ends, that, that ended that experiment very quickly. advantage of the fact that the long arm is still a lot faster. So basically, this entire backlog is going to kill our order system. Okay, so we're probably going to have to redo this. The power is going to kill us. We might end up having to just um, revert to a uh, two grill. We might have to end up reverting to two grills, a bunch of smart arms. <coughs> let's, let's take a look at this. Our, our conveyor grill consumes about 6,000 watts. I could pro I'm probably better off just using two electric grills. Yeah, I, I should just use two electric grills. Then the smart arms I can reconfigure so that um, I don't have to worry about all of them being on the same line. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take a. So that's it. That's gonna be it for this episode. I'm going to re revisit this one again. We kind of know what the solution for this one is. I probably don't even want to save this one. So yeah, if you. Yeah, let's take this as an exercise. We already know that the conveyor grill is way too slow. We're probably gonna have to revert back to electric grills. Is there a way to and the smart arms that we're using here to pick up stuff? We can just divert it to there. We'll probably have a better setup that way. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the run. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, and whatnot and as always check out my other content as well and what, it, what can I say thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys again next time thank you and God bless